Welcome to the Good Morning Show, Friend of Life Live, where we strive to start our day in a good way with some joy and some hope and some encouragement as we continue to seek wisdom, truth, and life. My name is Brian Bell. I'm so glad you're here. It is Thursday, April 11th, 2024, week 15, day number 102 of the new year, live stream number 305. Hey, let's know where we are. Let's know where we're going. Let's know why we're going there. And let's make today count. Good morning, live streamers, Finding Life family, Finding Lifers. So good to see you. So good to be here with you. Happy new day of life. I see some sadness going on here in the chat. And I'm anxious to find out what it's about. If it's about um, William Blair or something else. I see Melanie here crying with a broken heart. And I saw Kat say something about, uh, let's see, one of the first ones I saw down, down, way down low. Let's see here. It says something about maybe not happy today. Maybe not so happy today, Bobby. Uh, uh, let's see. We'll get into that and find out what's going on. But good morning. Happy new day of life. <clears throat> So good to see you and be here with you. Let's see who we have with us this morning. First up, on my side, we have Rick. Rick says he was in a lot of pain yesterday. Glad that has ended. No more pain. What? Um, let's see. We have some catching up to do. Um, let's see. Let's see. Did William Blair, is William Blair no longer with us? That's what, that's what the, that's what the reading between the lines I'm seeing. Wow. I'm scrolling down the live chat to see, uh, Kat says in honor of William, the greatest chat chef we could ever had. Uh, let's see here. That's what I'm wondering too, Deborah. Like, Deborah said, I can't believe. It. What's uh? We need some more deets here. William Blair. If 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 that's true, that was super quick. Um, let's see. Yes, yes, he sure did. Uh, what's you guys got to give me? You guys got to give me uh. You guys got to give me the uh, the details here and let me know what's going on. Uh, you guys let me know. Um, Melanie says, I can't even feel the breeze of my fan. I only feel warm for a few minutes now like someone hugging me to comfort. Can't really stop crying. You guys let me know. Did someone, did someone hear news that William Blair has passed away? Has gone to be with Jesus? You guys, uh, let me know if that is true and how you found out. And uh, that's what I'm reading between the lines here. But I would, I need some uh, confirmation. You guys, let me know what's going on. William Blair, is he is he with Jesus now? Let us know. Let me know. Mm. Rick says I didn't see that part. Only saw Cat, David, Jack, and Sarah talking on Jonathan's channel. It only says, please visit me in my dream, brother, so I can even say goodbye to you. All right, I'm just going to read through the chats and uh, see Christy Ritchie has joined us. Good morning, Christy Ritchie. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Uh, let's see. It looks like we're getting news that William Blair has has gone to be with Jesus, our first Finding Life family member to go be with Jesus. I'm going to read through the live chat and we'll see what we got. I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any confirmation yet. I would like to know some details if you guys could let me know. If you guys could let me know some details. I'm going to read through what I have. Rick says he was in a lot of pain yesterday. Glad that has ended. No more pain. That sounds like William Blair is with Jesus. Rick says, yes, Lars, in Jesus' name, amen. Rick says, Lars, if you ever want to, get my email from Brian or David. Melanie crying with a broken heart. Rick says, happy in a way because he was so ready to go. After he had his near-death experience, yes, he always said that, that he uh, he was more than ready. Rick says, I don't want to hear this soundbite this morning. I don't want to hear his soundbite this morning, to be honest. I mean, we don't have to play it, Rick. Rick says, in a hopped in a hopped up cab. Rick says, big old bag of hot breakfast burritos on the front seat. Moni says, forgive me, Brother William. Can't fulfill my promise to you. I'm sorry, brother. I didn't win the lottery. Can't give you ticket to see your wife because I know you've been wanting to be with her. 
Melanie says, really breaks my heart. We're going to miss you, Brother William. We love you so much. We will see you very soon, brother. Wait us up there with God. Rick says, I know right, Mel. Rick says, in Jesus' name, amen, Mel. Melanie says, please visit me in my dream, brother, so I can even say goodbye to you. Rick says, I didn't see that part. I didn't see that part. Only saw Kat, David, Jack, and Sarah talking on Jonathan's channel. Rick says, you know any more info, Kat? Rick says, you still in the bed? You slack, Kat? Rick says, good morning, Sarah. Rick says, good to see you as well, Sarah, with some love. Melanie says, before watching Swedish Chef make me laugh, now while watching it, I can't stop crying. Rick says, Melanie, you have such a big heart. Rick says, going to pick us up at the gate. Melanie says, oh, Brother William, can't even say hi to you yesterday. Hope you forgive. Rick says, too soon. Sarah says, morning, y'all. Shalom. Good morning to you, Sarah. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Rick says, loss of appetite today for me. Rick says, thank you, Charles. Have a blessed day as well. Sarah says, yes, all in God's glory. He takes those closest to him. Sarah says, hey, Kat, fancy meeting you here. Sarah says, Lars, I was supposed to send you my cousin's YouTube channel, and I don't know how to do that on here. Sarah says, hey there, Fragile. Good to see you again. Good morning, Lars. Uh, so just look up Selby Shrooms Sand Dunes. I'll make a note of that later. We'll check that out, Sarah. Sure, we'll, suck that. we'll check that out. Kat says, in honor of William, the greatest chat chef we could have had. There's a link. Charles says, hello, everybody. I'm wishing everyone's having a great day. God bless working and listening. God bless you, Charles. Thank you for joining us this morning. Just hearing news that William Blair has apparently uh, gone to be with Jesus. Catherine says, yep, Deb. Laura says, okay, I can't even spell anymore. Don't know what, but he's in a better place. For sure. Laura says, looking forward to see him up there. Kat says, amen, Lars. Deb says, what happened? Did William die? Well, those that are in Christ will live forever. Amen. We were going to read that this morning, too. The last word of the New Testament today says, anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Lars says, amen, Melanie. Bobby Bell says, good morning, Kat. Good morning, Lars. So good to see you. Good morning, finding my family. Happy Friday, Junior. Deborah says, I just can't believe it. Lars says, be right back. Laura says, we always talked about him just half an hour ago. We love all of you like family. It really hurts. Yes, amen. He was ready and carried himself with grace and love for his fellow believers. Laura says, took a screenshot. Sarah will check later. Laura says, call the pizza shop. We'll see him again. He will meet us there and laugh at us. That's right, Lars. That's right, bro. That's right. Laura says, anyone know what time he passed? Laura says, sorry, Deborah. We, we all loved him. It's not easy. Laura says he's in Abraham's company like Lazarus. Laura says he would want us to keep smiling and laughing. For sure, Lars, that is true. He would want us to keep smiling and laughing and to rejoice that he is no longer in pain, that he is in paradise. Amen. Lars says, amen, Rick. Lars says, hi, Bobby. Lars says he knows we love him, honey. It's hard. Be safe, Charles. Lars says, thank you, Rick. I'll ask him. That is a shock. I'm feeling it. Lars says, I guess so, Cap. Cat says, I got out of bed, fragile. Laura says, I've been awakened the t previous two nights. Someone yelling my name in dreams stood up and prayed. Laura says, truth, honey. Cat says, I think we should make a Swedish chef soundbite in honor of William. Cat says, you too, Charles. Cat says, William really warmed up the chat before the show, made sure the lights were on and all of us were well fed. What are we going to do now? Just standing around looking hungry. <laughs> Uh, yes, he was a good one for sure. Laura says he was big and strong and kept his eyes on God right to the end. Kat says, hi, Sarah. Laura says, so fast, too fast. Kat says, maybe not so happy today, Bobby. Laura says, good morning, Sarah. Laura says, group hug. Bobby Bell says, good morning, Deborah. Rick says, good morning, Brian. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to all of you. A different morning here indeed. Something we've never experienced before. Uh... Bobby Bell says, good morning, Fragile. Are you talking about William? Cat says, excuse me for not dancing. Cat says, hi, Brian. Lars says, good morning, Brian. Love all finding life family forever. God bless you, Lars. So thankful God has brought us together. Let's uh, let's lean on each other. Rick says, morning, Ricky Bobby. Yes. Uh, Sarah says, good morning, B-Dog. Good morning, Sarah. It's so good to see you and have you with us this morning. Bobby Bell says, he is dancing and cooking with our Heavenly Father now. 
Lars says, Amen. Bobby Christy Richie says, Shalom, Shalom. Remnant people, may Yahuwah abundantly bless you and keep you safe. Shalom, Brian and Bobby Bell. Cat says, We love you, William. Thank you for blessing our chat for as long as you could. Lars says, Hi, Christy. Lars says, Amen, Cat. Melanie says, I can't even feel the breeze of my fan. Only feel warm for a few minutes now, like someone hugging me to comfort. Can't really stop crying. Full of Hope says, Hand pink waving Lars, fragile. Cat, Bobby, Deborah, Charles, Sarah, and Brian. Thank you, Full of Hope. So good to see you. Let's see if I can get this right. Gia Huich. Gia Huich. Is that right? I think that's it. <laughs> Full of Hope, so good to see you and have you with us this morning. Thank you for that. Thank you for that abundant Irish love. We greatly appreciate it. Lars says, God bless you, honey. Chrissy says, Shalom, cat. Shalom, Lars. Shalom, fragile. Shalom, Deborah. Chrissy just says, Shalom, Mel. Lars says, full of hope, some Irish love back. Chrissy says, Shalom, full of hope. Cat says, I don't have any details. Just that Des Mike told me William's son informed his contacts. Mm. Thank you, cat. Wow, that was crazy fast. That was crazy fast. Rick says, Good morning, Christy. Cat says, hi, Christy. Glad you're here. Sarah says, Shelby's shrooms and tunes. All right. Shelby's, our daughter, our oldest daughter is Shelby. Uh, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll check it out, Sarah. Shelby's shrooms and tunes. Christy says, where was William Blair from? I don't know where he was from. I know he lived in Denver, Colorado. Last I knew. Jack says, shalom, everyone. Sarah says, amen. Sarah says, shalom, Jack. Lars says, Denver. Rick says, Denver. Christy says, Shalom, Jack. Christy, Jack says, Hey, Christy. Cass says, Jack, do you know what time William passed? Laura says, Hi, Jack. Jack says, No. Bobby Bell says, Prayers for William's family. I cannot even imagine because I am so sad we never even met face to face. Yeah. Yeah. Jack says, Hey, Lars. Lars says, Amen, Bobby. Special connection between us here. Deborah says, I was asking Hilly questions and found out Tater is going into surgery in a couple of hours. Y'all know that? No? Thank you for that, Deborah. Let's keep Tater in our prayers, too. Uh, Bobby Bell says, I was going to say rest in peace, but I am sure there is no resting at the moment. Just a pain-free William praising and worshiping with some love. Just sad for those left behind. Jack says, yes, Deborah, keep Tater in prayer. Kat says, maybe Jesus will let William help prepare the wedding feast with a heavenly chef's hat. Yes. Lars says, always, Bobby. Bobby Bell says, God bless each and every one of you with some love. Sarah says, full of hope with some purple love. My mom, my beautiful mom in Tennessee. Good morning, mom. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. My mom says, God bless you all. How amazing the love we all feel for William and for everyone here. Even though we have never met, our hearts are broken, but we know William is with Jesus with some prayer and some love. Praise God. Praise God for that, that we don't have to wonder where William is at today. Amen. Praise God. Lars says, Amen, Diane. Charles says, I have been praying for William every day for God to ease his pain, and finally now he is whole again. Amen, Charles. God bless. Amen. He is definitely in a much better place. Jack says, Pray for one another. Amen, Jack. Thank you for that reminder, Jack. Absolutely. Bobby Bell says, Amen, Grammy. Love y'all so much. Bobby Bell says, Yes, and Amen, Charles. Lars says, Amen, Charles. All right. Caught up in the live chat. 613 here on Thursday, April 11th. Just got news that William Blair uh, has gone to be with Jesus. All right. Should be a celebratory, should be a celebratory thing, but it doesn't, doesn't feel that way, does it? Um, Sarah says, good morning, Bobby and Diane blessings. All right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, you know, this, I'm not sure uh, how to proceed. Should we, uh, should we just pray and get into today's word? Uh, perhaps, 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 uh, Let's just, uh, all right. Bobby Bell says, blessing, Sarah. Let's say a prayer. Let's say a prayer, and uh, we'll take this one moment at a time. And um, let's, let's, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much, God, for this new day of life. God, thank you that, that you brought William into our life, God. Thank you that we had time with William. God, thank you that William is no longer in pain. Thank you that William is no longer suffering. Thank you, God, that we have the confidence and the assurance that William is with you today. No more pain, no more suffering, no more tears. 
God, thank you that we can have the assurance and confidence of salvation and eternal life. God, thank you for your word. Thank you, God, that we can know you through your word, your living word. God, thank you that we have access to your word. Thank you that we can freely share your word. Thank you that we can come together and seek you and hear from you through your word. God, I pray for William Blair's family. I pray for his wife. I pray for his family, God, that you would be with them during this very difficult time. I pray that they would feel your presence. I pray that they would feel your peace that surpasses all understanding. God, I pray that you would give them the peace of mind knowing that William is in a better place and no longer suffering. I would just thank you for for every day that we had with William. He was such a light to us, and we're so thankful. God, thank you for this time together this morning. Thank you for this family. God, do pray for everyone here. God, thank you that you're always with us. Thank you that in you there's no fear. Only love and joy and peace and light and goodness. God, thank you that you allow us to be a part of what you're doing. Thank you that you allow us to be your children. God, I pray that we would live out your truth. I pray that we would shine your light. I pray that we would make you known every day of our life. God, may may we live to bring you glory. God, thank you for William Blair. Thank you for his life. I pray for his family. Please be with them and help them. Please comfort them. I pray they feel your presence. I pray they see you and everyone that's around them. I pray they see and and feel your presence, God. God, I pray for this family who's hurting today, from from Melanie who's really brokenhearted right now, and and all and everyone else too, God. I just pray, Father, that that you would we just we are always with us. There's no reason for me to ask that you that you would be with us because you are always with us. And we praise you for that, and we thank you for that, that you're always with us, no matter what we face, no matter what we're going through. Thank you, God, that you're always with us. When we're hurting, when we're struggling, when we're in the valley, or when we're on the mountaintop, it doesn't matter. Thank you, God, that you are always with us. Thank you, God, that we can rest and know that you are God and that William Blair is with you now. God, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for this time together this morning. Thank you for this family. God, thank you for your word that we can know you more. God, I pray that we would know you more today. God, we love you. We praise you. We seek you. God, we pray that you would cleanse us, heal us, and use us. Help us to be the people that you created us to be. I pray. Help us to live out your truth. I pray. God, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Let's go back to, uh, we'll go back to the live chat. We're early, of course. We'll go back to the live chat, and then uh, once I catch up in the live chat again, we'll we'll read today's word. Um, not exactly sure where we left off. Let's see here. I know my I know Bobby said amen to my mom. Love y'all so much. Bobby Bell says yes and amen, Charles. Lars says amen, Charles. Sarah says good morning, Bobby B. And Diane, blessings. Bobby says, blessings, Sarah. Lars says, Luke 16, 19 through 31. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Uh, Luke 16. Luke 16, 19 through 31. 
the rich man, and Lazarus. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple, one of my favorite colors, and fine linen, and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. Everyone has been warned. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, the word has been spoken, the word has been freely available for over 2,000 years. The word is out there. If they do not listen to Moses and and the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. That has happened, amen? That has happened. The truth is out there. Everyone has been warned. Lars, thank you for the word, bro. Thank you for the word. So greatly appreciate that. The things of this world. We're going to be reading today in the New Testament about the things of this world and how to know if we love God or do we love the world. The world the, the word says that we can't love God and the world, that we can only love one or the other. And today we'll read how to know. How to know, do we love God or do we love the world? That's coming up in today's reading. Bobby Bell says, just so sad because you never know when that's the last breakfast someone will make you until it's too late. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You never know. Lord says, amen, Bobby. Always tell people how they are loved. We, He knew we all loved him. Amen. Cass says, Psalm 116, 15. Let's go check that out. Psalm 116, 15. Thank you, Kat. Psalm 116.15 Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Hey, I know one of my dad's favorite verses was... uh, 
to be absent from the body is to be present from the Lord. Let's look that up. To be absent from the body. Uh, I'm going to type in Bible Hub so we can find it on the Hub. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 8, NIV says, We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Let's read some different translations of this. 2 Corinthians 5, 8, New Living says, Yes, we are fully confident, and we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. ESV says, Yes, we are of good courage, and would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Berean Standard says, we are confident then and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. King James says, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Amen. What else we got? All right. Uh, thank you for the word. Thank you for Psalm 116.15, Cat. Let's go back to that again. From Cat, Psalm 116, 15, Precious is the sight of the Lord, is the death of his faithful servants. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Thank you, Cat. Cat says, uh, oh, I didn't show that again. There you go. There's the visual. Amen. There's King James. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. NIV says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants servants. Amen. All right. Cass says, true, Bobby, and we enjoyed and appreciated each and every one of them. Thank you, William. Laura says, thank you for sharing your love with us, William. Laura says, amen, Brian. Thank you. Rick says, in Jesus' name, amen. Bobby Bell says, amen, with some love. Sarah says, amen. Melanie says, amen. Bobby Bell says, let, it, let this bring us closer to one another and draw us closer to God in honor of William with some love. Amen, Bobby Bell. Bobby Bell says, if anyone gets the arrangements when they are made, please share. We would love to send something. Much love and hugs, Mel Melanie, with some love. Laura says, amen and amen. Bobby, love you all like family. Yes, indeed. Bobby Bell says, same, Lars, with some love. John Mary says, good morning, Friday Life family. Good morning, John Mary. So good to see you and have you with us, brother. Lars says, hi, John Mary. Love you, brother. Full of Hope says, love you, Lars. Sorry, I'm quiet. John Mary says, Lars, I'm honored to be loved by the best people in my life. John Mary, so good to see you and have you with us, bro. So glad you're here. Lars says, likewise, Paola. Christina says, I don't have any words either. He was so kind. Lars says, he was. Christina, what a blessing to our lives. Christina says, he is with God, so I praise God for that. He is no longer in pain. Amen, Christina. Melanie says, Lars was scolding me an hour ago for complaining for not coming very soon. And he say, maybe we end up like William and her wife not seeing each other for years because I can't even save even a little. Laura says, sorry, honey. John Mary says, good morning, Friday Life family. I'm so glad to be here today with you. Yes, John Mary, we're so glad to have you here with us. Thank you for being here, brother. Much love to you. Melanie's crying. Let's, uh, let's figure this thing out, right? Let's, uh, let's overcome this, let's overcome this, let's overcome this financial situation and let's help each other out. Amen. And, uh, man, Lord willing. Full of Hope says, Melanie and Lars, how much do you need? Cass says, Melanie, please don't make me cry again. Rick says, oh no, Mel. Lars says, full of hope. I need time and energy more than anything. Full of Hope says, Lars, I have funds. Rick says, have funds to Lars. Laura says, please don't full of hope we could not accept. John Mary says, Mel, no more cry. Full of hope says, Lars, we can talk in comments. You guys can share email addresses. I can uh, I can connect you guys through email if you like. Vicky Calvert says, difficult day. Blessings, friend of my family. I will miss him with some love. Yes, Vicky. Yes, indeed. Always hard for those of us who are left behind. Amen. But praise God, William Blair is, uh, is uh, in the best place possible today. Laura says, hi, Vicky. Laura says, always full of hope. Cass says, hi, Vicky. So sad today. I never used this emoji. Was hoping I would never need to. All right. Oh, well, I was just going to say, I'm caught up in the live chat. Let's, let's read the word. And there's the heavenly alarm for the word. Uh, full of hope says, please, Brian, share my email. Okay, full of hope. Will do. 
I will uh, I will connect you guys on email. Uh, full of hope and Lars. All right, all right. Vicky Calvert says, Hi, Lars. Blessings to you and Melanie and comfort in Yeshua's name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Rick says, Brian, pass my email to Lars. Okay. Will do, bro. Will do, will do, will do. Lars says, Amen, Vicky. Thank you, sister. Dana says, Good morning. Good morning, Dana. Dana, we're just learning that William Blair, our, uh, our, uh, William Blair, our, I don't know if you've been listening in so far, but, uh, William Blair, our live chat chef and, uh, who always got here early and got us going, uh, passed away last night, apparently, uh, from, and so our first, our first finding life family lost for us, gained for him. Amen. And so full of hope says, good morning, Dana. John Mary says, hello, Vicky. Lars says, Dana, greetings on this sad day. All right. We're going to get into the word. We've already said a prayer. We can pray again. Heavenly Father, God, thank you again so much for this day. Thank you for everyone here, God. Thank you for this opportunity and privilege to come together and hear from you through your living word. God, we recognize and acknowledge you as the one true living God, creator, author, and source of life. God, thank you that you came to give us life and life to the full, life today and life everlasting. And God, thank you that when we find our life in you, we live forever. God, we praise you and thank you, God, that we can that we can rest and know that William Blair is with you today. God, I pray that you be with everyone who's feeling the pain of his loss. I pray that you be with his wife. I pray that you be with his family. I pray that you be with this family, God, for peace and comfort and healing and assurance, God, that William Blair is in the best place possible. God, thank you for our time with William Blair. Thank you for each and every day that we had together. Thank you for bringing him into our lives. God, I just pray that we would be the people that you created us to be, that we would live life well, that we would shine your light, that we would make you known, that we would help people find life in you above all things. To know what really matters in life. God, help us to know you more through your word this morning, I pray. Speak to us, I pray. Help us to see what you want us to see. Help us to hear what you want us to hear. Help us to understand what you want us to understand. Lord, I pray. God, may we not just hear your word, may we live it out. God, thank you for this family. Thank you for this time together. Thank you that you are always with us and bigger than anything we face. Thank you that we can rest and trust in you above all things. Help us, God, I pray, to live out your truth, to find our life in you above all things, to shine your light, to make you known, to help people find life. Lord, I pray, please forgive me for my sin. Please cleanse me, heal me, and use me, God, according to your will. I pray I give all I am to you, God. God, thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Speak to us this morning, I pray. Please be with William Blair's family, I pray. Please be with everyone here who's hurting, Lord, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Let's uh, check the live chat one more time, and we'll get into today's word. Dana says, oh my goodness, how sad, but he is well with the Lord now. Amen. Laura says, amen, Dana. Tater, uh, Rick says, Tater, going in for surgery again, Brian. Yes. Let's pray for that. Heavenly Father, God, we also pray for Tater, God, as he goes into surgery this morning. God, I just pray for Tater, Father, that you would be with him and his medical team. I pray, Father, that you would guide his medical team. I pray that you would give them wisdom and guidance. Pray for your favor and your blessing on his surgery. I pray that everything goes well, God. God, we just pray for Tater and his family, God, and all that he's going through. Father, just pray that uh, we pray for healing for Tater. We pray that we pray that uh, his surgery would be successful. Uh, just pray over that whole situation, God, and and just pray your will be done. And we pray, God, we pray that Tater, we just pray for healing, for comfort, and your will to be done, God. God, help us to fully rest and trust in you in all things. And please be with Tater and help him, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for that reminder, Rick. Full of hope says amen. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome, full of hope. All glory to God. Amen. So glad to have you guys here with us today. Vicki Calvert says amen. 
some prayer and some love. Lars says amen and amen. Christy Richard says amen and amen. Christina says amen. Rick says in Jesus' name, amen. Vicki Calvert says good morning, John Mary. John Mary says amen, Lord. Good to see you today. Vicki, have been missing you. And Christina says amen. All right, let's get into today's word. Let's get into today's word. Today's word. Reading, doing a short reading here every, each morning on YouTube live. 6 a.m. Pacific, to focus on what matters most to start our day in the best way possible with some good community and the living word, the light to our path, the source of life. Wisdom says in Proverbs 8.35, whoever finds me finds life. Whoever finds wisdom finds life. We're going to hear about wisdom again in today's Proverbs. Isaiah 55.3, God says, come to me with your ears wide open. Listen and you will find life. Proverbs 21, 21, thanks to Melanie, whoever pursues righteousness and love, love. The word says that uh, all the commands can be summed up in these two things, to love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love others as yourself. God is love. Proverbs 21, 21 says, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. And not just life today, life everlasting, true life, true life. Let's get into the word. Let's go, let's go. A couple more comments. Christy Richard says amen and amen for Tater. Vicky says amen. My mom says amen. John Mary says Tater in the hands of the Lord. Amen, John Mary. Praise God for that. All right, today's New Testament. All right. Uh, we're in First John right now. First John chapter two verses one through seventeen says, "This is John speaking. John, the apostle John. He says, "My dear children, I am writing this to you. I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the one who is truly righteous." He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins, and not only our sins, but the sins of all the world. And we can be sure that we know him, and we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. We can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey his commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. If someone claims, I know God, hey, I know God, I know God. I have a cross around my neck. I know God. But doesn't obey his commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him that is how we know we are living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. It says that is how we know we are living in him. If we oh, It says, but those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him. That's how we know we are living in him. Dear friends, I am not writing a new commandment for you. Rather, it is an old one. You have heard from the very beginning this old commandment to love one another is the same message you heard before, yet it is also new. Jesus lived the truth of this commandment, and you also are living it, for the darkness is disappearing, praise God, and the true light is already shining. If anyone claims I am the if anyone claims I am living in the light but hates a Christian brother or sister, that person is still living in darkness. Anyone who loves another brother or sister is living in the light and does not cause others to stumble. But anyone who hates another brother or sister is still living and walking in darkness. Such a person does not know the way to go, having been blinded by the darkness. I am writing to you who are God's children, because your sins have been forgiven through Jesus. I am writing to you who are mature in the faith, because you know Christ, who existed from the beginning. 
I am writing to you who are young in the faith, because you have won your battle with the evil one. I have written to you who are God's children, because you know the Father. I have written to you who are mature in the faith, because you know Christ, who existed from the beginning. I have written to you who are young in the faith, because you are strong. God's word lives in your hearts. God's word lives in your hearts. And you have won your battle with the evil one. Do not love this world, nor the things it offers you. Do not love this world or the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. The Word says, For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure. It lists three things here. The world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. The world sa- the word says the world offers, number one, only a craving for physical pleasure. Number two, a craving for everything we see. And number three, pride in our achievements and our possessions. This is what the world offers. These, it says these are not from the Father, but are from this world. And this world is fading away, along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. The word today says, do not love this world nor the things it offers you. And it lists those things as a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. Do not love this world, nor the things it offers, for when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. So it says we can't love both. It says we have to choose. Do we love God, or do we love the world? Do we love God, or do we love the things that the world offers us? Cravings for physical pleasure, cravings for everything we see, pride in our achievements and possessions. We can't love God and what the world offers us at the same time. We read that elsewhere too, right? Can't can't love God, and can't serve God and money, can't love God and money. Like, all right, today's word. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that. Today's Psalm chapter 120, verses 1 through 7. It's a short reading today. Psalm 120, verses 1 through 7, I I took to my troubles, I took my troubles to the Lord. I took my troubles to the Lord. I cried out to him, and he answered my prayer. Rescue me, O Lord, from liars and from all deceitful people. O deceptive tongue, what will God do to you? How will he increase your punishment? You will be pierced with sharp arrows and burned with burning coals. How I suffer in far off Meshach. It pains me to live in distant, this next word, I would, K-E-D-A-R, it looks like it would be Kadar, but I have this, uh, I have this Bible pronunciation guide I use, and it says Keter, Keter, how I suffer in far off Meshach, it pains me to live in distant Keter. I am tired of living among people who hate peace. I am tired of living among people who hate peace. I search for peace, but when I speak of peace, they want war. That's today's Psalm, 120 verses 1 through 7. Today's Proverbs, chapter 28, verses 25 and 26. Greed greed, greed causes fighting. Greed causes fighting. Trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Those who trust their own insight are foolish, but anyone who walks in wisdom 
is safe. Those who trust in their own insight are foolish, but anyone who walks in wisdom is safe. Proverbs 8.35, wisdom says, whoever finds me finds life. Let's go. Trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Proverbs 21.21, whoever seeks righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Let's go. All right, the word of the Lord, the source of the source of life, the source of wisdom, truth, and life, the light to our path, the living word, all glory to God. May we not just hear it, may we actually live it out and do what it says. Amen. The word of the Lord, all glory to God. Praise God. Let me know if you have any thoughts, insight, comments, anything you want to share. Hey, there's nothing more important than this right here. As we go through life, and we go through life and face challenges and difficulties and 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 great things, right? The things that the world has to offer, achievements, possessions, success. May we not lose sight of what matters most, amen? The living word. There's nothing greater. There's nothing more important. There's nothing more valuable than the living word, amen? Let's go. All right. I'll get back to the live chat. 646 on Thursday, April 11th, 2024. Let's go. Uh, let me go back. Let me scroll back. I saw Rick was going to look at some bears. This is where we left off. Rick says, uh, be listening to the word and checking outside the windows for spring bears. That sounds nice. That's uh, I, I love that visual of the great outdoors. Rick says, no surprises. Lars says, they wake up now, Rick. With a question mark. They wake up now, Rick? Rick says, yes, Lars, I know of two dens. I told Bobby on, what day was it, Bobby? I think it was on Sunday. I told Bobby, I feel like I need to go to sleep for like three days. Just go to sleep for three days and and, uh, not wake up or eat anything. (laughs) And then she said, sounds like you want to hibernate. I said, yes, I need to hibernate. (laughs) I feel like I need to hibernate. (laughs) Go into a long, deep sleep and uh, get some good rest and take some time away from food. (laughs) Uh, Lars says, be careful, Rick. Rick says, where where they sleep. Vicky Calvert says, been hard at work these past three days. John Mary, I truly miss this family on those days. We missed you too, Vicky. We're so thankful that you're able to be here with us today. Praise God. Mel- Laura says, Melanie is crying and puking, calling out to her mom. Please comfort her, dear God. Amen. Amen. Hey, let's pray for Melanie. Heavenly Father, God, let's pray for Melanie right now, God, and all that she's going through with the loss of William, with everything that she's going through with her dad being in the hospital. Father God, I just pray that you would wrap your arms around Melanie and give her comfort. God, help her to feel your presence. Help her to feel the fullness of your spirit, God, your peace, your presence, your comfort. Lord, I pray. I pray for Melanie right now. God, please be with her and comfort her and help her, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rick says, careful, LOL, if you only knew, Lars. Vicky says, power was out for three hours this morning. Tornado watch got up and ran out, got up and ran to put fridge stuff in cooler with ice packed power back for now. Praise the Lord. Amen, Vicki Calvert. Laura says, I've seen your videos. Thin fence between your land and wild nature. Oh, I need to check those out. I need to check those out too. Laura says, Amen, Vicki. Rick says, very little distractions between me and God that way, Lars. Mactavia says, good morning, Friday Life family. I'm late, but one here. Good morning, Mactavius. So good to see you, bro. Uh, hopefully you heard the word Hopefully you heard the word of the day. William Blair has gone to be with Jesus in the overnight, apparently. Um, Christina says, the world the world is evil. Cass says, good morning, Mac Teague. Lars says, glad to hear it, Rick. Rick says, the wilderness is, is where it's at, in my opinion. The wilderness is where it's at. Look at that profile picture. Yes, we love the great outdoors, too. Full of hope says, powerful words today. All glory to God. Amen. The living word. The living word. Lars says, I'm sure I'd love it, Rick. John Mary says, yes, that's true. I missed it yesterday because I had to play football on EID day with my friends. Invited and I helped them and with an amazing goal. That's awesome, John Mary. Praise God for that. I won a corner kick directly to the cross line, making it two to one. Hey, John Mary, let's go, bro. That's so good, man. That's so good. Glad you had, glad you had a good day yesterday. 
Lars says, Mac T, hello. Mac T says, you can't serve two masters. You will love one and hate the other. Kat says, learning to love God more and more each day. Lars says, amen, Kat. John Mary says, Vicky, God bless me with two talents. I wish I was in Europe. I would participate in athletics and football. Very talented. Hey, John Mary, make your way there, bro. Kat says, John Mary, kick that ball. John Mary says, Catherine, I'm happy for you. Keep learning. Rick says, get my email, Lars. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll, I will I will, uh, I will, will connect you. Dana Stone King says, thank you for the reading today. Uh, it's my privilege and honor, Dana. And uh, thank you for being here. It's good to see you and have you with us. Hope you have a great day. Lars says, okay, brother Rick. Love you, bro. Christy says, amen, Brian. Nothing better than the Bible. Amen, Christy Richie. Christy, so good to see you and have you with us today. Octavia says, I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. Would that would that you were either would rather that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Revelation 3.15. The word. Definitely not we definitely don't want to hear Jesus say, Get away from me. I never knew you. Amen. We do not want to hear that. Full of Hope says, every day I go deeper. Amen. Full of Hope. Praise God, we have that ability and opportunity. Kat says, as my earthly father used to say, as you go through life, make this your goal. Watch the donut, not the hole. <laughs> Watch the donut, not the hole. I got to think about that a little bit. Watch the donut, not the hole. Lars says, scary words, Mac T. Amen. John Mary says, yes, Kat, I did it. To my friends, it was a direct corner straight to goal. That's awesome, John Mary. Wish we, wish we could see a video of that. Rick says, you watch South Park, Lars? Mactavia says, it seems that the theme of not being able to love both God and the world is a recurring theme we should pay attention to. I think you're right, Mactavius. Kat says, sweet, John Mary. Lars says, full of hope. God bless you, sis. Vicky Calvert says, way to go, John Mary. Keep it up. John Mary, John Mary did send me some pictures and video of his flooding in Uganda. Uh, we can probably show that another day uh, with what we have going on today with William Blair. We'll just, uh, w uh, John Mary, we'll, uh, once we get through this, we will, uh, we'll show your pictures and videos that you sent me. Thank you. Thank you, bro, for sending me those. And we will, we will share them with everyone soon. Um, Laura says, full of hope. God bless you. Sis. Vicky says, way to go, John Mary. Keep it up. Laura says, I used to, Rick. Christina says, amen. McTavis says, amen. Lars says, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our community here. Amen. Amen, Lars. John Mary says, no, Vicky, it was a friendly for EID. Nothing can happen in this talent. I'm very far in a distant village. No camera, no scout, so it's hard. Christy says, it's a it is strange that Christians are needing more sleep. We are in a spiritual war. In the Bible, it says, Satan will wear out the saints. Pray for one another. That's a good word, Christy Ritchie. Let's pray that again. Let's read that again. It is strange that Christians are needing more sleep. Well, I only need more sleep because, like, uh, I only get like four hours. <laughs> like, just uh, I did get. I think I got five, five hours at most last night. But night before last, I went to bed at midnight. Got up at four fifteen. But Christy says it is strange that Christians are needing more sleep. We are in a spiritual warfare. In the Bible, it says Satan will wear out the saints. Pray for one another. Amen. Christy, let's definitely pray for each other. Chrissy says, I know of at least a dozen people who say they are so tired and not sleeping well. I sleep great. Personally, just for me speaking, I sleep great. I just don't go to bed early enough or sleep in late enough. Full of Hope says, Christy, I'm having trouble sleeping too. John Mary says, Cat, during my time at school, both primary and secondary, I was the best athlete of all time. Lars says, Amen, Christy. Rick says, same Full of Hope, having to force myself and vitamins. Man, praise God, I've never had any trouble sleeping. I can fall asleep anywhere, anytime. Chrissy says, in one of my Bible study classes, I told them, I pray Yeshua will Velcro me to his leg and and mummified with Velcro to him. They all just laughed, LOL. <laughs> uh, Full Hope says, yes, same Rick. Christina says, I don't need more sleep. I just need sleep. Amen, Christina. I don't sleep much. Vicky Calvert says, glad you are all here. You are such a comfort and blessing. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you and this family so much. Thank you, Vicky. We I appreciate all of you so much too. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here and being a part of the Finding Life family. I'm so thankful too. God brought us together. 
Laura says, Melanie passed out. Please pray for her. All right. I hope Melanie, let's, con- let's continue to keep Melanie in our thoughts and prayer and William Blair's family and Tater for his surgery and everyone else here, uh, you know, Jerry D and everyone else here who's going through some really extra hard times right now. But let's keep each other in prayer. As Jack always says too, let's, uh, let's keep each other in prayer. Amen. Uh, hopefully Melanie gets a good night's rest. Hopefully Melanie will get a good night's rest. I'm glad that she has fallen asleep, and I pray that she gets a good night's rest. Cass says, true, Christy, I sleep all I want. God took my job away two years ago, been facing greater spiritual warfare and directing my time towards that. Vicki Calvert says, praying Lars with some love. Cass says, feeling more peaceful and closer to God and others. Praise God for that, Cat. Lars says, thank you. Whoops. Lars says, thank you so much, sweet family of believers. Amen, Lars. And Vicky says, amen, Cap. All right. Hey, we'll plan to we'll plan to meet together tomorrow because the word Hebrews 10, 25 says, do not give up meeting together, but continue to come together, meet together, and encourage one another, spur one another on towards good works. We were created to bring glory to God, to bring glory to our Creator and to do good works, the evidence that we belong to Him. Amen. May it be evidence that we belong to our Creator, that we belong to God, that we are children of God. May we let His light shine. Amen. May we live out His truth. May we not just hear the Word, but do what it says. Amen. And let's keep our eyes on Christ, what matters most. Amen. So thankful for this family. So thankful for each one of you. Thank you for being here today. As always, much love to you all. We'll plan to meet back tomorrow, Lord willing, 6 a.m. Pacific. Hey, if you're catching this on YouTube or the podcast after the live recording, you are welcome to join us. We would love for you to join us. You are welcome to be a part of the Finding Life family too. If you would like to come in and join us, please do. You can interact, leave comments, questions. And uh, we're just here to start our day in the best way possible. Amen. All right, let's check the live chat one more time, and then we'll get ready to close out. Thank you all again for being here. Appreciate all of you. Love all of you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your encouragement. Uh, Thankful to be on this journey with you. Let's continue to keep William Blair's family, his wife and his family, in our thoughts and prayers, and uh, everyone here in the Finding Life family, and uh, everyone that we know uh, that needs prayer. Let's continue to be mindful and thoughtful and and pray for each other. Uh, Kat says, Melanie, what are you doing? Lars, please take care of her for us. We'll pray for her. Lars says she lost conscience. Her, her, her brother just told me. Hopefully she's just asleep, right? Hopefully she's just asleep. Christina says, Shalom, everyone. Blessings to you and have a great day. Love y'all. Thank you, Christy Ritchie. We love you too, and we're so thankful to have you here with us. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you back soon, Lord willing. Uh, John Mary says, Laura's God will overcome every challenge co- comes upon your way, bro. Whoever believes in God shall not perish but have an everlasting life. Be strong, bro. Thank you, John Mary, for that word of encouragement. Amen, bro. Whoever believes in God will shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Thank you, John Mary. Cat says, bye, William. We'll see you soon. Amen, Cat. Laura says, be safe, family. Love you all. Laura says, amen, John Mary. Mactavia says, that reminds me of when Elijah was fleeing in the wilderness and was frustrated and laid down for a nap. Then an angel woke him up to have him eat. Don't underestimate the spiritual power of a nap and a snack. Thank you, Mactavius. I agree to that, bro. John Mary says, Lars, we need you a hundred times. John Mary says, Lars, we need you a hundred times. Rick says, such a big heart, Lars. Keep it positive with her. Full of Hope says, a final borky, borky, bork for William, and he would want us to be happy for him. Amen, Full of Hope. Amen, Full of Hope. He would want us to rejoice. Amen. He would want us to rejoice in the Lord today as always. Amen. Lars says, she has a history of passing out. God has her back. Amen for that, Lars. Vicki Calvert says, blessings for everyone here. I love you all. We love you too, Vicki. So thankful to have you with us. So thankful you're a member of the family. And uh, thank you for your prayers. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for being here. Mactavia says, praying for her, Lars. Lars says, bork, bork. Vicky Cower says, all full of hope with some love. Rick says, side effects of a big heart. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. All right. Much love to you all. Bobby says, bork. Lars says, thanks, Mac T. All right. 
Much love to you all. Hey, we'll plan to do this again tomorrow. Be back again tomorrow. Lord willing, let's continue to pray for one another. Amen. Vicky Calvert says, Borky, Bork, Bork. All right, William Blair, we love you, bro. We love you, bro. We know without a doubt that you're in a better place. Amen. God, I just pray that you be with William Blair's family, his wife, and everyone who's hurting from his loss, God. I just pray again one more time, God, for this family. God, thank you for this family. God, thank you that you're always with us. I pray, Father, that you be with us all for peace, for comfort, for truth. God, help us to live out your word, I pray. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this family. Thank you that you're always with us. We love you. We praise you. We seek you above all things. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hey, we'll plan to see you again tomorrow, Lord willing. All right. One more check on the live chat, then I'll close out. Uh, Lars says, Truth Rick. Bobby Bell says, Oh my. God bless Melanie with some love. Cat says, Bork, Bork, Bork. Bobby Bell says, Lord be with you, Lars and Melanie, with some prayer and some love. Cat gave a smile. All right. Let's go. Bobby Bell says, Love you all. Mactavia says, Have to hop off here and go get back to work. Love you guys. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mactavius. Good to see you and have you with us this morning. Cat's giving some love. Rick says, hit the like button. Thank you, Rick. Much love to you, bro. Let's uh, let's share God's light. Amen. John Mary says, Bobby, lots of love. Cat says, love you, Finding Life family. Gigi says, I just missed you all. Ah, Gigi, so good to see you for a minute. So good to see you and have you with us for a minute. Good to see you and have you with us. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Lars says, Lord Jesus be with you all. Love you all so much. Finding life forever. Lars, thank you, bro. So so thankful for you, Lars, your love and support and uh, and everything that you do, Lars. Thankful that you're here and part of the family. Uh, John Mary says, GG, thumbs up. Full of Hope says, comment after the live, please. Thank you, Full of Hope. I appreciate all of y'all's love and support and encouragement and involvement. Thank you for being here and being a part of the Finding Life family. Let's continue to seek God and His will above all things, and let's continue to strip off anything that hinders us or slows us down and let's run his race. Let's run that race to God, the race that God sets before us. Amen. Let's seek God in his will and let's run the race with endurance. All right, let's go. Amen. Thank you, full hope. Laura says, GG blessings. All right. Hey, we'll plan to see you tomorrow, Lord willing. Until then, keep aiming up. Eyes on Christ. Bye, con Dios. Hey, friend, thanks for watching my video or listening to my podcast. Again, I'm so glad you're here. If you would like more information about Finding Life, please be sure to subscribe. Don't forget about my free PDF download, The Top Three Keys to Finding Life, which also includes the one decision that completely changed everything for me and can for you too. I'll have a link to it below. If you would like to help me help others find life, please be sure to give me a like, leave me a comment, a review, share with your family and friends. Any activity I get helps me help others find life. Lastly, don't forget to let me know how I can help you. What challenges are you facing? What are you struggling with? Let me know how I can help you specifically. Leave me a comment, send me an email, or set up a call with me. Until next time, let me leave you with this. There is a common thread that connects us all, and there is more to life than meets the eye. If you have ever felt like there has to be something more to life, you're on the right track. Keep moving forward. Yeah.